Hey guys, okay, it's been a while. I keep doing planned things and I don't film it because I don't know why, but I'm filming this. Well, I've already, I've already missed half of the action. You've missed half the action, but I will fill you in. So yesterday I went to work and it was really bad. So at the end of my shift, I decided to buy a plant. I work at Flower Power, if you didn't already know that. Um, so yeah, I bought a Philodendron Silver Sword, which I already have that, but my one was kind of struggling. Um, so anyway, I saw this Philodendron Silver Sword at my work. This is the leaf of it. It is beautiful. It is like so gorgeous. And I potted it right up right away because I was so excited and I was really sad and like, um, yeah, I just was wanted to do something to make me happy. Okay, so this is a cocoa fiber pole that I have. I soaked it and now it's like completely dry. I hate the texture of it. I don't think a plant's roots would like the texture. Like it's just gross. Like it's sticky, it's dry. It doesn't feel like what a plant would want to grow into. So I've just had an idea because I looked at it and one of the roots, it had these massive aerial roots and I kind of like weaved them into the pole that I have to get it, you know, gripping on. And literally two of them had died overnight. So, I'm thinking that's an issue, and I don't want all of the aerial roots to die. I've got the pole structure. I've got a massive bag of sphagnum moss. I'm thinking, soak the moss, wrap it around what's already there, or cut the cocoa fiber just completely off, get rid of it, coat it in sphagnum moss, and just tie it with like a twine to keep it all intact. Because I think and then I'd be able to keep it moist. This thing, you cannot even... The water just... About, like, it just repels off it. So, like, how could an aerial root grow happily in it? Anyway, I'm bored. So, I felt like... I was going to do that. That was a really long story. I'm sorry. But... That is what we're going to do. So... I will keep you posted. We're doing it right now. Okay. Sorry about this angle. So, I've got the sphagnum moss soaking. I've got scissors. Oh, it's a bit windy. And I've got twine. Okay, so this is the plant that I'm talking about. I'll show you the texture of the pole. Like, it's like, ugh, I hate it. So, I'm gonna untie it. I saw this massive like silver sword, like the leaves were this big on marketplace for twenty nine dollars, and I asked like like they were they were a bit damaged, and it was a small plant, so I was like okay, let me just see if I can get a bargain here. So I asked her if she would do twenty dollars, and she said she was so rude to me. She was like no way, and I was like oh okay, rude. Anyway, I'm just obsessed with this plant. I don't know why it's my favorite. I'm just going to cut a guy off because I hate the feeling of it and it just is gross. I hate it. Okay, this is like a bunnies thing that I got.
coated with paper. I like it. You can't really, you literally can't really see it. So I do like it because of that. And I might just put one at the bottom. see the aerial roots there's one there's one um, there's one down there which I'm just going to kind of wrap around just encourage it wow I think it's going to be really happy it's a little bit leaning no it's not I think it's fine okay I feel really good about this and I think I'm just going to put another one on that new leaf just to get it yeah okay Alright you guys, that is pretty much all I have today. Uh, my cat is attacking me and I have to clean up after that mess. But I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you next time. Bye!